Welcome back to the channel, everybody. As always, not financial advice, only for entertainment purposes only. If it's your first time here dropping in and listening to us talk about Cardano here on the channel, welcome in. Hopefully you hit that subscribe button down below. Would mean the world to me if you did so. Also hit that like button. It's totally free to do so. All right, so Ada Wales, some chaos happening, and it could be a really positive thing here. Some interesting things happening on the Cardano network. And we're going to unpack some of those things and uh, shout out to one of our top companies that we reference a lot here on the channel. And it is Into the Block. So Into the Block has found some very interesting information. Crypto intelligence portal Into the Block. So they observed earlier this week uh, that a significant increase in the inflow of Cardano tokens uh, has appeared amongst large holders. Specifically, there was a notable surge of 154.75 million ADA from Monday to Tuesday, indicating a substantial influx of tokens into the wallets of investors holding at least 0.1 of the total supply. The surge here to the wallets of major ADA holders marked the largest increase since early May. So according to Into the Block's methodology, this surge could signal strong buying activity within the token. This suggests that the tokens did not come from redistribution among large addresses or exchanges, but in fact, from the market itself. However, it's important to note this activity has not guaranteed or has yet to guarantee a positive outcome. We can see that just by taking a look at the price of the token and the price of crypto across the board. Similar characteristics were observed uh, at the last surge of large, hold, uh, large holders with Cardano, and it took place back in late April. But following that event, the price of ADA actually declined, experiencing an 8.5% loss up to the present day. Now, since the spike observed from Monday into Tuesday, the price of Cardano has risen a little bit. But if we go over to Coin Market Cap, if uh, that'll refresh for us, we can take a look. Cardano is up here in the seven day period, almost 4%, but it's pretty flat here today in the last 24 hours, sitting at about 37 cents. You can see we did get a little bit of a pop, nothing too crazy though. And uh, we take a look at the last year. Our low point reminder here was way back in December 2022. We actually fell below 25 cents. So we are up from that, at least. Volume has been pretty steady here with Cardano, but this is something interesting to note. And uh, we'll definitely keep tabs on it here as time goes on. But I think more than anything, this is bullish long term here for Cardano. It shows us that the whales are not giving up. It's not even close to giving up. In fact, they're getting even more bullish by what we can see. And it's not something like, hey, answer these interview questions. No, like they're putting their money where their mouth is, and that is showing up on the blockchain. And we can see that large Cardano holders are only intensifying their interest and engagement on the Cardano network. So this is super bullish long-term for ADA. That's why it remains one of my top holdings. Of course, if anything changes, I'm not afraid to say that. But right now, Cardano is one that I hold a ton of and that I truly think has tremendous upside in the next three to five years. This has been a brutal stretch for crypto. When in doubt, zoom out. We're still very, very early to the game. About 5% of people invested in crypto right now. Cardano has been a top 10 crypto since 2017. That's why it's one of my favorites, amongst many other reasons. But we'll talk about those in other videos, or you can go check out any of my other Cardano videos down on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.